This video is brought to you by TEN, our debut hardcover book celebrating 10 issues of the local project. Use the code BOOK5 at checkout for a 5% discount. The feeling of the home is almost cocoon-like. It feels extremely private and secure. My name is Omar Gandhi, principal of Omar Gandhi Architects, and today we're in my own home, OG House, which is located in Halifax, Nova Scotia, which is a province on the east coast of Canada. The brief of this project was to house my family. But at the same time, the intention at the time was to become the new home for my studio, which was previously located on the waterfront. As it turned out, during the course of construction, our studio grew and we weren't able to move entirely into this studio on the ground floor. It then became an extension of our waterfront studio, a place where we work on community projects. The challenge of this site was actually really exciting for us. And in this scenario, the perimeter of the building was actually set out for us from the setbacks to abutting properties into the street. So it was really about how we could design an interior that was really exciting and took advantage of the entirety of the space at hand. Although there's a front door, it's really not the main door that we use. We go to the back of the house and descend stairs into the rear of the house. At the front is a nice little lounge space that ended up becoming our favorite place to drink coffee in the morning. And then at the back, towards the street, is actually the studio. The second floor, which has a bathroom at the end, is almost like a little brick dungeon. On the other side of that wall, as you enter the main space through a sliding door, is the kitchen, the dining, and the living room. As you traverse from the kitchen to the dining and into the living room space, the ceiling itself starts to rise. With only a window into my son's bedroom, where his desk sits. Connecting the kitchen, dining, and living room is a long white bar of millwork. That bar also includes a wood-burning fireplace and wood storage. The second flight of stairs takes you up to the bedroom level. Adjacent to the primary bedroom is the ensuite. With no windows looking out to the neighborhood and only skylight from above, which washes the textured tile walls. Back out into the hallway, there's another half set of stairs that takes you up a partial level, which is where my son's bedroom is, as well as our guest bathroom. With the volume somewhat resolved from the outset, it really became a process of articulation as well as sculpting. In some cases, even sacrificing overall square footage for joy and delight and surprise. Light and sculpted space is really central to the design of this project. It was always intended to have a really soft, indirect light in most spaces, whether dappled light through the front screen or light from above in the living room, whether on a sunny day or a rainy day like today, it was always meant to have a soft, ambient glow on the inside. The primary materials of the house, both exterior and interior, are white oak, buff brick, very neutral colors of stone, and a lot of raw steel that was custom fabricated. We really intended for it to be a neutral palette, but at the same time didn't want it to feel too delicate. As 
part of the design process, we designed some custom furniture pieces, including the dining table, which was done in collaboration with an incredible craftsman out of Prince Edward Island, Brody Chapel. After running my own studio for 10 years, and at that point having designed more than two dozen homes, it was pretty exciting to be able to build something for my own family. I thought it was going to be a lot more daunting than the process actually was. It was actually quite fun, and with the help of my incredible team, I think we were able to make decisions fairly quickly because there was a very clear vision from the outset. It also was a platform for us to take on aspects of design that we had only dreamt of. What I'm most proud of is that from the street, looking at the building, it's actually quite closed off. But on the inside, it's so light and light-filled and highly textured and really warm. That's a wonderful duality that we were able to achieve. My favorite part of the house is waking up in the morning and coming down that second story staircase and ending up in the living room with light bouncing from every wall. It's actually quite amazing. This video is brought to you by TAN, our debut hardcover book celebrating 10 issues of The Local Project. TAN unites the very best projects from the first 10 issues of the publication into a beautiful single volume. With over 400 pages of architecture and design from both leading and emerging creatives, the hardcover book takes readers on a curated and meditative journey. The premium paper stock of the book means 10 is an enduring addition to a coffee table or library to be enjoyed for years to come. With worldwide delivery available, have 10 delivered directly to your door. Head to the link in the video description to purchase your copy now and use the code BOOK5 at checkout for a 5% discount.